Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to build a mini shelf greenhouse. This has one, two, three, four, five shelves. Can hold 20 flats, just on one side, 20 on the other. You don't have to build something this big. But I want to give you the design principles. So I'm using this inside of the greenhouse at Freetown Farm. That's because the temperatures are still getting down to frost. There are things I want to germinate. This setup is making it really easy for me to start tomatoes, peppers, other warm weather crops. Right in the middle there is a heater. You don't need to add that if you don't want to. But let me just show you the design because you don't have to build it exactly this way. All these materials, including the heater, were about $350. This is nine mil greenhouse plastic. It's solid. So you could just start with a shelving unit and that was about a hundred bucks. You can get one that's cheaper. I wanted something that was all metal, four feet wide, and it will hold four trays in there. A lot of seed starting can go on there. Now, the build is pretty standard. These are just two by threes along each corner. And then on the other side, with a piece of the metal shelving right in between there, I just screwed um, this side of the wood through You'll see little holes. It looks just like this in between there. Screwed right through there into this board. This secures the frame. The frame is used to wrap the greenhouse plastic. I just used a basic staple gun for the purpose and covered the shelf. We're going to get on the other side. That is where this tarp door is. And that was really the trickiest part. I wanted something that was easy to open, easy to close, could really manage these two shelves and it would take me less than a minute to secure and unsecure. Now in here is a oil heater. A any kind of you know um, heater will work. This can be set at 750 um, watts. It can go up to 1500 watts and there's a thermostat. I'll show you a close-up of that because it's hard to see. But this is basically a thermostat a heater that will kick on when the temperatures get down to 50 degrees. Put it in the center here because I didn't want it taking up space in the unit and the heat really will rise up through here. I just put a frame across here. The other side is open so that I can pass plants through when we're working here in the greenhouse. But then there's just plastic on top so the heat rises through here and then it gets pushed into there, gets pushed into there. Bungee cords are your best friend next to duct tape. This is how I secure the tarp. By just reinforcing a hole right there with the duct tape, using the bungee cord, you can see that the gap would be like this. So if the wind was blowing, it's just gonna suck all the warm air out. Simple bungee cord to a screw, that stays tight. You could use as many as you want. And again, you could just build a unit just like this and you can see the wood goes around all four corners here are the bigger bungee cords they are taking the tarp from this side and just pulling it tight again without the cords this would just blow open nice and simple and then you just disconnect from here Woo! that's why you never want to stand or have a person on the other side of the bungee cord because that went flying um, one of the hazards of filming and talking at the same time. So here's the tarp, basically the door, real easy to get off, screws across the top to hang them on. You want to use a tarp because they have these secure, you know, eye holes right here and it's just not going to tear. You don't want that to happen. Leave some gap down at the bottom here. You can just drop a 2 by 4 on here if you're outside, you don't want the wind blowing it up. Um, this can even, you know, roll up if you wanted to, but mine basically just opens this way. That's the hole for the bungee cord on the other side that pulls it against the boards right here. And it's just secured one, two, three, four. Let me take this off, show you the inside, but it takes really one minute to take this off, one minute to put it on, nice and tight keeps the wind from blowing. You do want to overlap it here. Don't put it right here or the wind will be able to get in there. Just, you know, overlap it a little bit. That'll be perfectly fine. All right, the door essentially is basically removed. I can get right into work. It took me a minute to do that. There's more of the framing. 
you can see that the heater is right in there. Let me show you the other side. And I just reach in from here and set the uh, thermostat to what I need, set the heating uh, wattage to what I need, 750, 1000, or 1500. Good to go. Framing is just like I was explaining to you. Straightforward, and then you need a piece coming across here. I recycled plastic, so if you do that and you're doing it in pieces, you kind of want your one piece to go up, then I ran out, overlap it this way. So the overlap is right here. That will just keep the heat in more. You can do it however you want. Again, I'm not saying design it exactly this way, but I think this will give you some ideas of how you can build your own shelf greenhouse on your property or even inside your greenhouse. So it's still getting uh, freezing at night around here at times. It was, it's going to be 29 degrees tomorrow, but you can see the peppers are all starting to germinate and they just sat for a while when I had them over here. Um, it just wasn't working. So putting a greenhouse inside of a greenhouse added warmth. Building this on your property will allow you to start seeds outdoors. Plenty of light still comes through here, even through the plastic up there. Through this plastic, these plants are not leggy. I thought it might just be fun to just show you kind of how I design things. And then you can take these ideas, use them on your property as you need to. And you can see how the heater is in its own space on a stone. And the heat will come straight up through here and then pour out this way. So I like the design, very functional for what I needed. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 potential plants on this side, 40 all together, helps us maximize space. And then again, we're growing stuff over here that can take the cold. And I wanted this little space here so that we can hand plants off to each other, get them over to the other side. There's flowers and stuff over there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you something to think about. And you don't always have to buy pre-made kits. They're usually more expensive often not durable. This is not going to blow away in the wind if you're in a windy area. A metal frame, you know, on stones, something that will level this off. It's nice and secure. Add in the weight of the wood. The wind is not going to move this no matter where you live. And the tarp makes it really easy just to pull it across, attach the screw, put it onto the screws, and then use the bungee cords to pull it tight. All right, so that was a bit of a Friday morning rambling video. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And if you pre-ordered my book, I finally got word that they're gonna ship April 13th. I just got a pre-copy, or at least it's being sent in the mail. So thank you for being patient. Thanks again for watching.